welcome to the MBS show, episode number 240. I am your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Lurka Cat. Hey again, guys. Hello, Lurks. How are you doing? I'm alright. How about yourself, Norman? I'm good, I'm good. It's been a while since we had you on. Uh, we, the last time I think we had you on was for the announcement where, uh, you were asking me about TFE. Yeah, your time in Friendship Express, I think it was. Mm-hmm. How them shenanigans went along. And then you announced your video. Yeah. Where you got to be like, the live studio. It's like, hey people, it's Norman Sanzo here. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, faces real, real life, yay. Like a celebrity. No, Check. not really. But you saw it, right? Like, how, what do you think of that video? Yeah, I watched that. And then I got to see Dr. Charlie as well. That's one I remember. I'm like, oh, it's Dr. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie, yay. <laughs> but so, how about you? How have you been doing? I've been alright, just working away, drawing, not succumbing to madness. That, that's very tricky, by the way, but you know, I'm getting there, I'm coping, it's cool. I think everybody succumbs to the madness. Yeah, we all succumb to madness. Yeah, especially it's when awesome. it comes near Christmas and whatnot. Yeah, it's like I'm work being busy sending away Christmas stuff to different companies and whatnot. Yeah, the Christmas shoppings and the whatnot, it's like, ugh, uh, it, it's just all hard and whatnot. Like, I could just imagine... The whole shopping center getting filled with people buying Christmas gifts and whatnot. The crazy Christmas. At least it's not like Black Friday where everyone like tries to kill each other. That's in the states only. Does it happen in the UK? Yeah, they've they've started these Black Friday sales in the UK. I don't really get it because it is an American thing, so I don't see why we have to sort of partake in this sort of mm. stuff. Madness. Yeah. Yeah, it's just corporations trying to sell. Well, stuff. it's kind of interesting if you think about it because giving one day of the year to have a super uber sellout sale for people who wants to buy things at a ridiculously low but it's a con mm. though it's not well, even not... It... well i don't know how you guys do it there but in the states from what i understand we lie. that's what we do we just say yeah <laughs> this is on sale but if you're looking at all these cheap they're, you... they're not good quality stuff either it's cheap stuff anyway and then they just slap sale sticker on it and people go absolutely bananas for it. And it's like, yeah, way to clear out their uh, stock, which they were trying to get rid of anyway. And they just put a sale on it and you just totally fell for it. Way to be a sheep. Well, in all honesty, certain things go down for dirt cheap. And that's where it's instead of uh, I have to think about it, it'll become an impulse buy. So that's what it's kind of OK. I, I don't know. I haven't experienced the whatchamacallit. Black um, the Black Friday sale or whatnot. But still, it's one of those things where, oh, this is fun. And like shopping and whatnot, um, you told me before that you work for, uh, what you would call this? Biscuit company? Was it? Yeah, I work for my shortbread factory. See, that's about as much patriotism as you'll get from me from my country and all that Yo. jazz. Yo. We sell a lot of different places. Like yeah, places you... like Mexico and America and Australia and even Malaysia. Awesome. Okay, here, here, here's to narrow things down. Have you sent stuff to Mexico? Yeah, we sent stuff to Mexico. Have you sent stuff to a shopping center called Liverpool? I wouldn't be surprised if we had, but I've not personally dealt with the customers. I remember, I think it's, oh, what was the name of the company i think it's golden gate or something from mexico i would have to check that though guys it's been a while since i've sent to mexico but what about liverpool have you sent stuff there i've got a feeling that that might actually be in our database but i have not printed any labels <laughs> for them particularly but i would uh, not be surprised if yeah. we had yeah. but you know all this um dancing around the issue or dancing around the news um Apparently, there's a shopping center called Liverpool that has pinky dancing. Yay. Really? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's literally a commercial for a store called Liverpool. And it has a bit where Pinkie Pie is dancing and singing in 3D. That would just trip it. Well, she's just plays a small part. I've seen the commercials. It's basically uh, Liverpool trying to um, promote their products on stage and whatnot. Like, you know, just say, hey, Christmas sale, buy stuff. Like... Uh, My Little Pony, Nintendo 3DSs, Sun and Moon is out, so you better buy it. And yeah, you all that better stuff. buy it. It's all that stuff. And looking at the pony in 3D, I think they use Source Filmmaker for this. Oh, okay. Because it looks similar to it. It's like, yo. Cool. 
Yeah, it's cool, but still, it's like, hmm. I wonder if Paul Marketing or John Lawyer's looking around and stuff, like, hmm. Yeah, the little side side just be like, I smell copyright! <laughs> but actually, it's like promoting their thing, it's like for a commercial at the same time, too. See, I, I don't, don't understand know. that half the time with copyright, because sometimes, it's like, dude, free advertising, especially if they're not monetizing on it, but then these guys would be monetizing it, wouldn't they? So I'm totally good. This is why I'm not a YouTuber. Yeah, it's Catch-22 with this one, because it's hard to say, because it's an ad, so it's going to be played in certain situations where they want people to come to their store and buy stuff, and buying stuff could be the My Little Pony brand product, whatever it is, you know? Yeah. But this is something cute and cool, you know? It's a cute and cool indeed. I kind of like it. It's cute. You have Pinkie Pie dancing on stage and whatnot. Like, yeah, Pinkie Pie is represented in Mexico. Yay. It's like Pinkie Pie is the national pony of Mexico. Party pony. Yay. So does that mean that Mexico likes to party all the time? If that's Don't the case, let's go to Mexico. Let's party. Yay. Uh, but you know what? Before we go partying at Mexico, we should head off to America and get us some shortbreads at Walgreens. Oh, Walgreens. I recommend <laughs> many labels for you in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are you now? <laughs> it's like, they're on their way to America, that's where. They <laughs> were a few months ago, they're probably there now, on sale. Oh, yeah. This is not what? an endorsement for my company, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you never said okay. your company brand, you just said no. Walgreens. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, nobody still, nobody knows what it is, but still. Well, I did, because once CRC asked me a question where I worked, and I think I said where I worked. Yeah, but you're not gonna talk about it now. I, no, you had, to... you had it, you've had it. If you wanna hear where I work, you're gonna have to go back through the episodes and listen if you are a true stalker, but I don't think anyone <laughs> is that committed. Yeah, but still, uh, talking about Walgreens. Yeah, uh, you remember way back when, uh, I'm not sure you do remember this one because you were not on, but, uh, well, way back there in... you go, Norman. <laughs> 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 Answered your own question. Yeah, I hate that. But anywho, <laughs> way back in the days, we talk about a fun co product called the Power Ponies. Um, they're those mini figures or those mystery minis. Based on the comic. Yeah. Uh, and this one is, well, uh, based on what, uh, Lurk said is those, um, power ponies. So now they have the minifigures and they're really cute. And well, apparently Walgreen has some exclusive. And said exclusive ponies are, uh, if I do remember right, uh, Spike in a mask and cape, really cool looking Rainbow Dash, and... It's like really cool day, Rainbow Dash, which is basically all the time. Yep, and the maniac all wrapped up in her hair. That's one last scene. Remember that one? Mm-hmm. And that looks cute. I like it. Well, these vinyl figures, they're available at, exclusively at Walgreens, by the way. So, uh, well, I, it's not exclusively at Walgreens. It's just the three figures. The Rainbow Dash, the Spike, and the Maniac. Those three are exclusive to Walgreens. So, yay, go and hunt them down. Every time you say Maniac, I just want to I think about that song. She's a maniac, maniac on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Technically, she is, if you look at it. I seriously, like, every time that that's mentioned, even when watching the episode, the song comes into my head. <coughs> oh, you. It just, it's a great song. Yes, it is. I'm, I'm not saying anything. Like, the classic songs are really good. Oh, the 80s. <clears throat> I miss you. We even cringe, get to see you. Good. I wasn't alive. No, not cringe. All of the awesome. <laughs> I wasn't alive yeah. for most of the 80s, so I can't really comment. <laughs> Uh, it was a dark year. It was a dark year for fashion. <laughs> oh, I've seen the fashion and I'm glad that none of those are like revived. I'm, well, a lot of it's oh, not revived. It's starting, some of it is. It's starting to. Oh, some of it is, <laughs> but that, but especially the one in particular is the skirt that looks like a filled nappy. That is just disturbing. <laughs> Why would you wear uh, that in public? Ever. Why would you want to look like you'd soiled yourself? <laughs> no, no comment, no comment. <laughs> Seriously, why? What were you people thinking? I don't know. Norman, you were alive for the 80s. Explain. Uh, it's one of those silly fresh... You know, back in the days, we had skinny tight bell-bottom jeans. And with the cut really close to the crotch. Like, that's what Ooh. we had. Jeez. Why and you... that was fashionable. The bigger the bell-bottom and the higher the crotch line is, the better. Well, I like bell-bottoms. 
but I don't think they're anything compared to what it used to be like. I don't have any good segue for this, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, James Esmus, a uh, future writer for the My Little Pony comic books, is working on the latest issue, issue 51 to 53 with Tony Fleece. And said issue would be his first, and also it's trying, uh, it's also tying into season 7. So, yay! That's something interesting. Yeah, that'd be really interesting. Yeah, so all I need to know is when is this coming out and when is, uh, what you call this issue 51's coming out? So you can have a preview of what season 7 TV show is going to be like. And is it related to the, what you call this, um, uh, movie? Oh, would it tie in with the movie or do you think the movie's going to be a completely separate thing or do you think it's going to be like I end of season know. 7 kind of? That's what I'm thinking, because if it does tie into the end of season 7, there's a lot of, you know, speculations and whatnot going on. There's a few things, but... Do you think it would be better if it did, or if it didn't? Hmm, I don't know. This is one of those things where I'm going to hold it for a bit, because we got a question. And, well, uh, finishing up on this story, it's really cool. I can't wait to read James's work here, and Tony Fleece's art is always good to to look and it's all good it's all good all I can say is I can't wait to read it and like Tony Fleece um, was that not the guy like a few episodes ago had his original arts on sale yes I do think so oh sweet cool yep but anywho if you guys at home would like to send us any questions you can do it at the uh, com because some of you did and we got a returning <laughs> Email writer, CRC Brony, and he has a uh, question for us. CRC, you and your questions. Yes, we like yes, your questions. Well. Some of them. No more singing requests, though. So. Yeah, <laughs> this one and done. <coughs> and, well, related to the Season 7 thing is, what would you all like to see in Season 7? And and when would you think the show would premiere? Uh, me, I would like to see more pony species. <laughs> pony species? Well, yeah, well, mythological creatures that are kind of like ponies, like maybe like the hippocampus, I would love to see them, which is like, if I remember correctly, the water ponies. Oh, just think they called the sea ponies? Oh, are they called the sea ponies and that stuff? I, I don't really watch, I never watched MLP before until season four, so it's all new oh. territory for me. Oh, uh, okay, because in Gen 1, there was such a thing called the sea ponies. shoo be doop 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 be doop I feel like there's a joke there that I've just totally missed. <laughs> Yes, there is. Yes, yeah, there is. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll go back to my new corner. <laughs> no. See, when I was okay. younger, I didn't watch My Little Pony. I watched The Silver Brumby, which was way more epic. The Silver Brumby? Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, take that. I'll show you later, Norman. Okay. Uh, but... As for me, and Steph, you're most welcome to butt in if you have a say in it, is, um, I would like to see, well, more development for Starlight because Starlight oh, yes. has been, yeah, Starlight has been such a doll in season seven, sorry, season six, and I would like to see more of her development and where she goes from here on out. And also, Steph, by the way, have you seen season six till finish? Oh yeah, I've seen all of season six. All right, uh, for you guys at home who have not watched this, warning, spoilers ahead. It's been a while. Weep, weep, weep. Spoilers. It's been a while now, but still, um, I'm gonna warn you, spoilers. I would like to see more development of the changeling, the new revamp changeling, those I do, changeling. I do like how they've come about. And I was like, oh, and that would maybe explain why Chrysalis is the way she was. Maybe she couldn't give love, and therefore she decided to take love, and that corrupted her. And then obviously her being a queen and having all these eggs, she created an entirely new race. And maybe wiped up the old one. Maybe that's what the changelings originally looked like. And then they fell off from that and went into corruption. And now they're back again. I don't know. That is a good theory. I like how you think. But still, it's one of those things where it would be interesting to see it from that point of view. But still, um, I would like to see more developments on the changelings, the griffins, dragons. Because if you look at how things are now, we got a lot of development from the other cultures. And one yeah. of the things that we don't see much is the yaks. What I like the doing? yaks. I'm totally just taking that as the, the poke at the Scottish people. 
because that is us. We like to smash oh. things and we get angry for no reason, but we're happy when we're angry. <laughs> we sound oh, like we're gosh. angry, but we're, we're not really. We're just really excitable <laughs> in a scary uh. and aggressive way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, certain Scots can be really, really loud and obnoxious, but they're lovable. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> But still, um, I would like to see more of that. And for when it would premiere, uh, previous news when we talk about issue 51 to 53, um, the first issue for that one is coming out in February of 2017. So my guess and prediction would have to be somewhere around early February or probably March, I guess. I never really thought about when it would premiere. I just kind of like, I'll just... Take it when it comes. I would have reckoned it would have come about April or something. You know what? Uh, April seems like a good one, but uh, I'm double-checking the wiki here because there's a pattern to how the Pony episodes come about because um, the first one was in October and then the second season came along around... Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, first season ended in... May, May of 2011, and it came about in September of 2011. Mm. Then it ended in April of 2012 and continued on to November of 2012. Then it ended in February of 2013 and premiered in November of 2013. And that one ended in May of 2014 and continue on to uh, April of 2015. Ooh, that's a huge gap. Yeah, that's... Yeah. yeah. It ended in November of 2015 and Season 6 premiered in uh, March of 2016 and ended in October of 2016. So, my guess would have to be somewhere around... February? Is, that seems like a good spot. What do you think? Yeah, I would say probably a good spot. See, I just don't think about it too much. I'm... Yeah, because there's other shows out there, like Justice League Action. Is that what they call? Like the new Justice League? Let me see. Uh, because there's a new Justice League that came out, and I think it's called Justice League Action. Yeah, yeah, it's something new. It's really cool. Yeah. So his second question is, Pinky or Marble? Or both? Pinky? Oh, oh Marble. Yeah, I like Marble. She's shy. Oh. She reminds me a lot of Flutter Shy. But even shyer. Yeah, she's just so cute. I like them both because what's not to like about Pinky? She's the loud party animal. And then sometimes when you want to go um, slow and quiet, you hang out with Marble and you just hang out. You don't talk, you just hang. And then you have a good time. You nod your head. It's like, yeah, that was good. And then you go on a few separate ways. This just sounds like the kind of bars that are in Amsterdam where you just sort of sit and listen to a spoken word. Maybe that's what she does. Maybe that's why I she sings all the time. Uh, not like her other sister. Ah, it's like, what was it, limestone? Yeah, no, not her. Oh. Uh, she, she has angry, angry food. <laughs> yeah, yep. I like her as well. <laughs> I like Mod too. Mod is... Oh, slow. Mod is the best! <laughs> She is literally the ones of the people that would be in the spoken words things, because that's exactly the tempo that they use, just, ah, uh, rock, rock <laughs> poetry. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> oh god. I'm up for listening I... to a bunch of that and just like showing my approval by clicking my fingers, just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drinking coffee. I think the music she would like is rock and roll. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Not metal. <laughs> Even though metal would be a mineral. Mineral. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, next question from CRC is Would you prefer to live in the city or the country? I would like the country, but that's because I live in the country anyway. I don't think I could handle the city. <clears throat> hmm, alright. In all honesty, I, I would like the city because of how convenient everything is. See, whereas you like convenience, I just like quiet and lots of people is quite daunting for me. Oh yeah, true, true. I mean, if you think about it, it depends on your lifestyle and whatnot, but still, um, I do like the quiet, so that's why I built in a soundproof room, so I don't get to hear all the noisy. Ah, that's things. that's where you you 
get by it. I just, I don't know. Cities always seem daunting to me, especially if I'm city, uh, I'm visiting Edinburgh or Glasgow. They're just really big and really daunting for me. I like, I live in a village, so I'm used to really small places and quiet. Yeah, but the convenience of everything, like you just take a, well, I visited the city when I was at TFE, so I got to experience riding the monorail or uh, underground, as you call it. Oh, so just way. Yeah, so just using that to travel everywhere, it's like, oh, this is cool. Just sit on this train, wait for a few minutes, arrive at location, drop off. That's what I think I did when I went to one of our landmarks, the KLCC, um, Kuala Lumpur Convention Center, I think that's what it's called. So went there by books and whatnot. And yeah, it was really cool to just travel um, like that. It reminded me of my time in Singapore where I went to shopping centers and whatnot. I like the city, but I don't think I could live there. Yeah, it's one of those places where it's great to, to visit, visit, but yeah, to it's not great to live. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. And another question is, fishing! Do you do it? I would like to fish, but I, I always wanted to fish when I was a kid, but my parents were not outdoorsy types and didn't know how to fish either, so I didn't get to fish. Don't you do it now? That's like, it. don't you have... Oh, if, if someone had the opportunity to do it, like I said, after I go fishing, I'd be like, I don't know how to do any of it, but I would totally be up for it. Yay. The, the prospect be... of catching something and being able to eat it at the end, although as I hear sometimes that you have to get licenses and you can't always eat what you catch and you have to throw it back. Not kind of... I think it's the sport. I think it makes me sad. No, I want to eat stuff that I've got. That's the only thing. It's like, same with hunting. If I ever went hunting, I want to eat it. <laughs> uh, well, for me, I'm not a huge fishing guy. I, 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 I remember when I was a kid, I was so interested in the whole fishing angle because uh, I remember me and my parents, like we were in this one restaurant and said restaurant had a big indoor um, prawn fishing Thing going on, you know, when you My fish for prawns. Used to do that. He used to be a <laughs> yeah. trawlerman. That was his profession. He had a boat and everything. He went oh. fishing. Well, this is kind of indoors at the restaurant. Like, uh, you catch the prawn and then you give it to the chef, and the chef will cook whatever you want. Oh, nice! I would be up for that as well. That seems like so yeah. Much. But sometimes you won't get whatever you want, so it's like ah, oh, craps. Oh. But still, um, in all honesty, I'm not a huge fishing guy. I, I don't have the patience for it. I would if I had the opportunity. I just don't know how to do it. And here's his last question. And it has something to do with uh, eating what you catch. Is which firearm would you choose to possess? A compound bow or a 12-gauge rifle? I would have a bow. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, don't know. I just... I honestly don't know. I just always like bows over guns. Hmm. All right. I think I in think it's my of... RPG days like coming into play again. <laughs> I don't mind. Just secretly an elf. <laughs> Shh, <laughs> tell anyone. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, for me, I would go for bows too because they're more personal. They're more. Um, how to put this? Maybe it's because they don't make too much noise. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. The the noise part too. Like if you played The Last of Us, remember that one scene when you oh, first get the bow? Yes. yes, I do. Yeah, that's so cool. And at uh, and at the same time too, you could reuse the bow. Like yeah. Oh yeah, you can totally. Re- I love the stealth weapon for the win. And also in here in Malaysia, uh, bows are readily available. You just need to kind of buy one at the sports store quote-unquote sports store, like, there's a archery range we have here. All we need to do is just buy a bow. They're stupid expensive, but yeah, you can have one. Uh, do you need a license for them? I don't think so, because most of the time you'll be going to archery range to fire them. Like, you won't be firing your bow in public places. Probably, I'm Unless not 100% sure. Unless you're a sure. maniac and you want to take people down. Ha! <laughs> Not advocating that, by the way, people. Don't do that. Nah, it's you're, not cool. you're no loon. You're no loon. You're no lunatic, so no. See, you say loon. Up here, when you say loon, that just means a boy. <laughs> really? A boy? Yeah. Aye. A loon. Oh. A loony means a uh, little boy. Oh, really? No. Yeah. The more you there know. you go. Scottish, sorry. A little less for you, Mark. A loon is a wee boy. 
Yeah, cool. cool. Uh, but anywho, like for here, guns are really, really hard to get. Like, it's virtually impossible to get unless you own a plantation or a farm. I think most oh, that sounds, that sounds like us over here in Britain as well. I know that uh, farmers can have shotguns, but they have to have a license for it and they have to be kept in a mm. case and they get checked often. But mm, same here, I think. Yeah. Because, not well, anyone you, can go around with a gun. It's not like America where you can get them in the supermarket. Uh, I've heard that they can get they? them in Walmart. I've heard that they can get them in Walmart. Oh god, I do yeah. know that. I do know that if you want to get a gun in the states, you need to wait for two weeks to get a license and whatnot, and that's only to have the gun. The bullets is something else. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Let's just say it's a lot of complications in between. They make it complicated to get one. Well, yeah, it, as it should be, because I mean, it's it's a weapon. Just, but you ban Kinder Eggs, America. I don't understand that. Because they're choking hazards. Could you just imagine eating one? <laughs> a gun! A gun is safer than a Kinder Egg! What? Yeah, because guns protect the family. Kinder Eggs just choke your kid. <laughs> but they give you fun toys and chocolate! Why <laughs> are you hating on Kinder Eggs, America? Yes, I've just taken this show just to sort of appeal to America. Bring back the Kinder Egg. But you, know what? <laughs> but you know what, you don't really need the Kinder Egg. You can make your own. All you need is um, milk chocolate, um, Nutella, Norman, and you're you good. You such blasphemy. You don't need a Kinder Egg. Norman. Norman. Well, well just... I never tasted one, so I've never... Oh, Norman. 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 I only oh. want the Kinder Egg with the pony inside. Yeah, but still, ponies. Not as good as what <laughs> it used to be when I was a kid. Yeah, that's why I just eat Nutella. Nutella's from Kinder, so it's all good. Oh, Nutella. Yeah. Sweet, sweet <laughs> nectar. <laughs> yeah. Hazelnutty yeah. goodness. I'm so glad I don't have a nut allergy. <laughs> but at the same time, CRC is from Canada, so he does have the Kinder eggs. Yay! Uh, and a parting note, uh, the show is still fun, and I'm interested to see what comes from you in the future. Maybe some new or some guests. Hope you guys... Have a great fall season and winter season when Winter's she comes here. around. Winter is coming. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, thank you, CRC, for the lovely email. Hope you didn't wait too long for that to be answered. Like, um, <laughs> in all honesty, it's like, what, a month since you asked those questions? I'm oh, sorry, sorry CRC. <laughs> uh, just had to wait for the right time. Uh, and time for me to, to remember. Time, time to strike. <laughs> yes. Uh, but anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, or you want to ask us a question like what CRC did, you can contact us at the mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. For me, I am at Norman Sanzo. And Steph, where can the good people of the internet find you? The interwebs people in .com. Or you can check out my friends at the Highland Bronies on Facebook, even though I don't add them for them anymore. You can still check them out because they like me. Indeed. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have a Facebook page. And also it's if you're Facebook listening page? to this... Did I say Facebook? I thought you said What's Facebook. 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 You know, you, <laughs> know also, you meant Facebook, but I like the idea of us Facebook. No, that's in the alternate universe where Facebook doesn't exist. Uh, but anywho, if you're listening to this on the YouTubes, please press the like button because somehow YouTube is derping right now. So um, all the engagement will be really awesome. So thank you. You can also catch us on PonyBelife.com. And also please subscribe and, well, listen to us with our newest endeavor, the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. On that show, you get to hear Silver Quill and Sefi banter on, while I, Norman Sanzo, Try to keep the sanity about. Do you? Do you or are you an enabler? Are you a stutter of such chaos? I am at liberty not to say. Yeah, but, it's like guilty! Uh, but, spoilers for future episodes if you want to know, is that, well, we might be doing a show about Mary Sue's. Probably in the future. That's one of the plans that we have. So, if you're interested, do catch us there. And well, I hope you do like it and subscribe. So I have been Norman Sanzo. I've been Lurker Cat. And we'll guys catch you next week with another amazing episode of the NBS Show. See ya! Bye bye!